<laughs> Michael Legg was going to be staying at my house in Edinburgh one August while I was away on holiday. We'd not met before, and I reckoned some sort of vetting procedure might be in order. So we arranged to have a drink at the Oxford Bar. I'd been warned of the danger of meeting someone I only knew through the internet, so I took a friend with me. <laughs> a retired cop called John Rebus. <laughs> As it happened, Michael had had the self-same thought and arrived with a mate of his called Greg Jevon. <laughs> While Michael and I discussed the house-sitting arrangements, John and Greg got chatting and soon were trading jokes and anecdotes so engaging that the whole bar had gathered around them. <laughs> Michael and I tried not to mind this too much, but when the time came to leave, neither of our chaperones was budging. We don't need you too, Greg announced. We've got lives of our own. So we left them to it, shook hands outside the bar. I offered Michael a lift, but he declined. A pity, as this meant I'd put the gaffer tape and plastic restraints in the foot of the car for nothing. <laughs> I never saw Greg Jevon again, though they still mention him fondly in the Oxford bar, as if wishing he was the regular there rather than me. The bastard. <laughs> he fucking right. <laughs> Really bad? Yeah. It sounds like something really moved. I don't. <laughs> fucking blame me, man. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Maybe it's just fate. Um, yeah, he's right. Uh, what, what are the notes? And I can sing them underneath there. It's to the tune of what? Hey Jude. Hey Jude. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, what? Does anyone know Hey Jude? No. No.